What's going on YouTube and listen outdoors here. So sorry for the inactivity for a while. I was underway on the ship, but I'm back on leave. We're back in Florida and we're out fishing. Uh, I didn't start the video. We're a little, we're a little late on our intro, but uh, right now we got two kings and we didn't get any bites until we opened our first two beers. So ironic, maybe we'll have another one. So I'm gonna tell you what we're using real quick. Uh, we're just using some planers. Right now we're fishing a number six and a number four. We're trolling them about four to five knots and we're picking kingfish up over the reef. Uh, 90 feet has been our money depth so far. We picked up two. And uh, we've just been zigzagging between 150 to 90, you know, to try and find the fish. Right now we're kind of hanging around 90 because we know they're there. But uh, you just wanna scan it, find your depth, and see what works for you. But uh, yeah, I'll show you our rigs later today. Right now, that rod holder and that twisty tie are the only thing stopping this rod from going in the water. But uh, it worked, and we're hanging in there. All right, Frankie, so why don't you tell us about your battle scars? So, well, I'm going right for this boat right here, but it was pretty crazy, it was hectic. Stanley was bringing in, you know, the long leader. I, hit, I stuck the fish with the gaff, and brought it right to my foot. Yeah, that is why you wear boots on a boat. Kingfish have sharp teeth, my friends. Battle scars. Sharp teeth. It's all right, you should see the other guy. Yeah, he's in the cooler, he's dead. He's dead, he's, he's gonna be on the dinner plate. All right guys, so here's our first two fish of the day. The bigger one's the one that got Frankie's foot. But uh, like I said, you should see this guy. He's got some holes in him. He's going to dinner with us later. But yeah, first two kings, we're gonna do some more fishing and uh, we'll see what we can pull out. What do you got, Frank? We got a little boner, boner Nita. A little boner? A little boner Nita. Bullet boner Nita. Let's get him in. Yeah, got number some bait. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at him. We're gonna get whacked by a king. Uh-oh, on what? Oh, we got the planer out there. That's not good. No. Hold on, let's change that bait while it's here. So the sun's going down here, and I just want to talk some tackle real quick. What I use when I planter fish, uh, nothing fancy. It's a sea witch style bait on top with some flash underneath. Both of these are weighted, probably an eighth of an ounce, three quarter ounce, not even too sure. And then I use about a 6-0, 5-0, double hook like this. Uh, straight mono, no wire. Kingfish are moving after that thing so fast when they whack it. They usually whack it at the end of the bait and just get those double hooks. So you don't have too much trouble with the mono, but you will get cut every now and then. Unfortunately, it's it happens. So our main line is about 50 to 60 pounds here. And just a normal snap swivel at the end there. Clip onto the back of the planer. I, I fish about 100 feet of mono or more. Depends on the water conditions. If it's murky, you can use less liter. If it's clear, you want to use more liter. Uh, some guys fish wire. I don't like fishing wire. I don't think you need it, but if you really don't want to get cut off, then you might want to use that wire. And for the reels that I like to fish, any meat reel. These are TLD 25s. This reel is probably six, eight years old, and I've just been fishing it on the same Ocean Master rod that it came on. Uh, I used to have dedicated planter rods. And then I sold them when I went to Virginia, but I had these laying around and I spooled braid on them. Not fancy braid, it's just Magic Braid from Bass Pro. I think it was 80, 80 pound, it was a thousand yards for a hundred dollars. So that's what I got on here. It's some high vis. Uh, if it focuses. And uh, you don't need to get fancy with these things. Really, once that planter trips, then the fish 
is going to be fighting that and all the line in between your rod and that. They don't pull too much unless it's a monster fish, but who knows, you might hook into a big one, so it's good to have a lot of braid on your reel rather than just that little bit of top shot. Another thing you want is a stout rod. Like I said, this is the Ocean Master that came with this reel, and as you can see, it's a pretty stiff boat rod because that planer is going to be digging down deep, and you need a rod that can handle it. Also rod holders. If you see the video that we just took, we had to tie the reels down. His rod holders are really sketchy, but uh, we still caught fish. You don't need a lot of money to go out there and plant or fish, and it will catch you fish, so uh, give it a shot.